Friends, in this video we will see how to generate two very important terrain derivatives that is multi-resolution valley bottom flatness and multi-resolution ridge top. These two parameters are very important for digital soil mapping and landform delineation. So, first what we will do for a detailed look actually, we will be clipping a small area from this district interactively. How to clip a raster interactively in Saga, that also we will be seeing in this video. So, how to do that? Go to Geo Processing. Grid, grid system and say clip grids interactive. So just you have to give your grid system and select your raster. Click OK and check this one. Run once and click OK. Now take this pointer and draw a rectangle. Now this is your, this area is your new dam. You can click it. So this is the new area we have selected for generating multi-resolution valley bottom flatness and multi-resolution rest of flatness. We will also select one more area in planes. For comparing it, you see, uh, go to geoprocessing grid, grid system, clip grid and click. Since everything is already there, just click OK and select one area here also. Click OK. So, this one is your second. So, for avoiding confusion, we will be removing this one, the original dam. Close it. Now, we are having these two. This is for plain. And this one is for hilly area. Now, we will be seeing how to generate those two parameters. Go to Geoprocessing, Terrain Analysis, Morphometry and you see Multi-Resolution Index of Valley Bottom Flatness. So just give your grid system. So for first we are getting for hilly region and then we are having five parameters. One uh, initial threshold for slope, threshold for elevation percentile uh, lowness and upness and then shape parameter for slope and then shape parameter for elevation percentile. So, we will be seeing one by one what are these and how the product is differing by changing this. First, we will be taking the default parameter. Click OK. See, this is your output. This is the output for your hilly region. So, you can see very easily that these are some valley, valley portion or plain for some and these are some uplands and in between we can have lowland or midland and then this this lowland if you are going for land form delineation. Similarly you will see soil property may vary according to this. So what we will do first we will be copying it and pasting in powerpoint so that we can compare as we are changing the parameters. Now again we will go for we can also go for, from here like tools terrain analysis morphometry and then multi resolution index. Okay. Now we will change the initial threshold for slope. See the different is 16 but this uh, the developers actually say the parameter is dependent on resolution of the dam. As the dam resolution decreases the slope threshold also decreases. Means as the pixel size is increasing the threshold will be decreasing. We will be decreasing it like 10 and see what happens. See, now the valley portions are more prominent. Okay, so we will copy it now again for identifying valleys more prominently, and particularly the narrow valleys, we can decrease it to get better results. If I am keeping it five, see, so this is now very complicated. We cannot use this actually. Maybe we can go for eight. We can use this as optimum for identifying the narrow valleys. Now we will see the same thing for the flat area. That is this one. And we will be going for default one that is 60 and click OK. See. So see this is your dam and this is what we have got. 
So see, these areas we are not able to identify here. Only up these uplands we are identifying. So, and these valleys also are not there. In If you are keeping the threshold 60. Now we will go for decreasing it. Just make it 10. Now, these are some more prominence is there. Again, we will be decreasing it to suppose 8. We are seeing now these areas. We need to decrease it more. Like 4. See, now we can able to identify every narrow valleys and all the uplets. Since there is more salt and pepper effect, we can go for like 6 or 5. Now, I think this is more realistic and we can use this one. For this, identify the landforms. We will be closing this one and concentrating on this. Now we will go for the second parameter that is lowness and upness. Threshold for elevation percentile lowness and upness. See the default one is 0.4 and the rule says that the lower the value the more conservative the classification of the respective valley or restock means it will be more clear and more prominence if you are decreasing it the values will be more prominent means very narrower so let us go for point 0.3 now click now you can see the variations we are going again decreasing it to point 0.2 See the valley size are more conservative means more the smaller value you will see will be pinching off now. See earlier it was merging with this these are now pinching off from the main value. We can also increase it like 5.5 and click OK. See now it will be merging. Like 0 0.6 so now we are saying that valleys are more wider now so this is the use of uh, threshold these thresholds now we can go for shape parameter for slope and shape parameter for elevation percent so these two functions actually control the transition from valley to upland so the default is 4 and uh, 3 the lower values will produce a gradual transition between valleys and upland and higher value will produce an abrupt transition. So, the default one is 3 and 4. We can increase it like 5 and 4 and see what it is. I have done it for different uh, combinations. See, this is the default one, 4 and 3. And as we are decreasing it, that 3 and 2, 2 and 1, see, these are, the values are not abrupt actually this is abrupt. this is more abrupt and these are very gradual things you see and see once we have increased this to six and five these values are more abrupt than this so depending on your area you can identify the best combination of this these parameters to get the landforms or digital soil map. So this is the this is how we will get multi region index for of valley bottom flatness and restock flatness. Thank you for watching.